Hi everyone, if you are someone who has diabetes, vitamin deficiencies are something you definitely need to be aware of. Today, I am going to discuss three specific deficiencies that can have a drastic effect on your health and how to know if you are at risk for them. Now, being prepared and informed can make all the difference in managing your diabetes successfully. So let's dive in and take a look at the three vitamin deficiencies you should be keeping an eye out for. Now, diabetes, as you know, is a pretty complex condition that carries a range of physical and mental health risks, including neuropathy, eye disease, and kidney disease, right? And heart disease too. Now, recent research has shown that diabetes sufferers are at an especially high risk for low magnesium levels. So, a lot of associations noting that almost 70% of Americans with diabetes have insufficient magnesium levels. Can you believe that? While this may seem like a small thing to worry about, researchers suggest that supplementing magnesium can actually drastically improve glycemic control. In trials across Europe and Asia and the United States, participants reported significant decreases in both fasting and post-meal glucose levels after taking magnesium supplements for three months. Now, what magnesium supplement is the best? Well, magnesium glycinate, okay? That's why we put now we are putting magnesium glycinate, which is much more expensive to get, but we decided to put magnesium glycinate in our new badge of diavitamin to make sure that it's completely perfect. It was near perfect, but we perfected it even better. So magnesium glycinate is a much better bioavailable magnesium for you and also keeps you relaxed, especially if you're taking it at nighttime, it will give you nice, good sleep as well. Now, what's the takeaway? Well, if you're a diabetic, it is well worth looking into whether your body might benefit from some extra magnesium. It's already hard enough for people with diabetes to keep their glucose at insulin levels stable, but the story may be more complex than what you think, right? So, studies suggest that diabetes sufferers may also have what? We talked about this before, zinc deficiency which exacerbates all the issues that comes with diabetes. Now, what is zinc? It's a versatile mineral serving as an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, as well as having a role in insulin production. Yeah, you heard me right. Well, you don't want excessive insulin, but you want some insulin, right? So if you don't make any insulin at all, you're not going to keep the blood sugars down. Even if you eat no carbs, guys, you need insulin. Some people make insulin, make you believe that insulin is like a toxic substance or something. No, it is natural. You have to have insulin all the time. The moment you don't have any insulin in your body, you will die. Simple as that. Too much of it is a problem, right? So, but not to mention, zinc also helps build immunity. So our bodies can fight off disease, which diabetics are vulnerable to infections. So if you or someone you know has diabetes, make sure they are getting their daily dose of zinc and keeping their blood and the body running smoothly. Like I said, if you're on sugar and diavitamin, you will never have to worry about a nutritional deficiency again. Uh, so from, like, from vitamins to minerals, we have it all in there. Now, it is going to be a major punch into your health in, in a one tiny pill everything your body needs to stay healthy. Now, allowing yourself to concentrate on other important stuff, like when you take diavitamin, you can concentrate on what? Napping, scrolling through the social media, just kidding. So, diabetes requires careful management, and that often involves medications to keep the blood sugar levels in check, right? A lot of you are on medications. Now, not the best way to do it, but sometimes you have to do it. Now, unfortunately, many of these medications can have unfortunate side effects, right? Sometimes they will drain you from essential nutrients, which means that individuals taking them need to pay closer attention 
than ever to their diets. Well, especially if you're on metformin. Not only this drug known for its propensity to cause B12 deficiency, it can also interfere with the body's ability to use other important vitamins and minerals. It can give you a belly ache. It will be inconvenient as well. But hey, you know, quality nutrition will give you a building block for a healthier gut, if, especially if you're a metformin. Now, alternatively, a lot of you are a big fan of super berberine, which works very similar to metformin. It can be in addition to metformin, or it can be taken separately if you cannot tolerate metformin. So check out superberberine at sugarmds.com. But to be honest with you, plenty has been done to improve the life of people affected by diabetes, and I hope I am contributing to it. So insulin was discovered. There's a lot of technologies available like Dexcom, Freestyle Libre to monitor your blood sugars. There's a lot of medications, a lot of good supplements, but Research indicates that managing multinutrient status could be just as important for a diabetic as controlling their blood sugar levels. So it's oddly an overlooked part of treatment plans. So nobody really asks you, hey, you know, are you sufficient with your vitamins and minerals? They just want to give you medications or whatever. And uh, eventually your body will be deficient in those vitamins and minerals, which is extremely necessary for good health. So why wouldn't you include that in your diabetes management, right? So it seems like pretty simple equation, but balanced nutrition plus healthy lifestyle habits equals a winning combination, so remember that. So let's all make sure to get the right balance of nutrients in our diets or the supplements, whatever you can get, right? It will not only help your maintaining your blood glucose levels, but improve your overall health being. So B12, zinc, and magnesium. There's three vitamin deficiencies, pay attention to those and try to do your best to get them in, either through food, vitamins, minerals, or through supplements. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.